You need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. The Appalachian Wireless Arena and Pikeville City Tourism are in the process of establishing a trail system which will begin and end at Bob Amos Park. The trail name is going to be the Real McCoy Trail, which I thought was fitting for Pikeville since the McCoys were from, from Pikeville and the old saying, the Real McCoy, meaning it's the real deal, and uh, this trail is going to be the real deal. The trail is a five mile loop with multiple different terrain types and ever changing scenic beauty. There will be sections of the trail for different skill levels including very strenuous, strenuous, moderately strenuous, moderate, and the easiest sections to provide hikers of all skill levels a challenge. Um, we're also going to do um, some vegetation identification on the trail um, by using certain types of markers. I'm not going to go into too much detail on it because it's kind of going to make it a surprise, but it's not going to be your typical tree markers as this is the species of tree and that's what it is. It's going to be interactive, so it's going to make the trail users actually have to learn why that tree is the species that it is, not you just look at it, oh, that's tulip poplar. Okay, but it's actually going to explain to you how you can tell it's a tulip poplar if there wasn't an identification tag on it. Um, we also have considered and uh, have already implemented some um, uh, structures on the trail like rope assist to where trail users on the highly strenuous sections, they can actually use an existing rope that is uh, placed permanently on the trail to pull themselves up some of the steeper areas. Um, as well as uh, maybe even doing some primitive like exercise equipment on the trail made out of trees. So, Pikeville Fire Rescue has been assisting in the clearing of the trail, which is currently about 50% cut out. Without them, there's no way we could have got this trail, even 50% of it done that we've got now. Um, we, we certainly needed the labor and the expertise. You know, these guys cut fire lines, you know, as part of their job. So they're, they're no stranger to cutting trees and, and uh, blowing leaves with the blowers. So they, they've been great. And uh, I, the, I know, the, speaking on behalf of the city and the arena, we greatly appreciate their help and, and hope that they can continue to help until this project is completed. Despite the pre-existing trails within the area, Collins hopes to appeal to a wider audience of adventurers who seek a greater challenge on a multifaceted trail system. You know, we needed a, a, a good, strenuous, classified hiking trail in Pikeville. You know, we've got the multi-use trail, which is great. Um, you know, it is very appealing to anybody that wants to walk a fairly easy trail system. It's paved uh, approximately 50% and DGA, compacted rock, the other 50%. And uh, we've also got the Blankenship Handicap Trail, which is ADA accessible. Um, but we didn't have a good established hiking trail. And a lot of people, they like to get off the beaten path. You know, they want to get up in the mountains where you'll get those nice scenic uh, views of the city from up at high elevations, etc. And uh, that's what we're hoping to um, accomplish with this trail. So this is kind of a missing piece that we needed at Bob Amos on our trail system. Um, and a lot of this was pre-existing trail that it, somebody had done years ago. It just hadn't been maintenance. So a lot of this work had been done previously. Anyone who would like to volunteer or coordinate a trail working day to help the project come to fruition can contact PJ at patrick at appwirelessarena.com. For Mountaintop News, I'm Kelsey Dean.